Hello and welcome to Southwestern Pacific Ocean Solomon Sea and Coral Sea. Solomon Sea is where most of our action is happening these days. Um, some developments S18 has come here uh, and will uh, I will keep S35 here for the time being. Uh, she still has four torpedoes, she still can use them, but I also sent S18 here to uh, patrol St. George Strait. Uh, it has proved uh, useful for us, both in monitoring what's coming through it and uh, sinking some of the um, uh, Japanese heavy cruisers. Uh, I got command points and supplies, so my convoys are carrying supplies to Battle Canal. Uh, and uh, Task Force Solomons uh, now got North Carolina instead of Washington and got uh, Salt Lake City as the accompanying heavy cruiser. Uh, I am actually going to swap these two. To have San Diego as our, um, excuse me, triple A cruiser at the end. Um, it doesn't have a destroyer now. Uh, I will eventually, when I get enough points, buy one and send it. It will catch it uh, very quickly. It's faster than this force. Um, uh, the uh, Task Force Enterprise now has Enterprise properly. Uh, and uh, the Hornet is heading to New Hebrides to be released, both repaired and have its uh, uh, air groups uh, recovered, so there is that. And that's about it uh, for the time being. Uh, we are coming to night 7 October, and I'll run the time and I'll see what I get. We've got an IJN task force running the slot. This is just a shortened islands you can see in the background. Uh, obviously they have a battleship and they are running short on heavy cruisers, so they are replacing them with light cruisers. But they also have this light carrier here that we are going to attack. I have my SBDs uh, from the uh, Cactus Air Force orbiting and getting, well, some of them are orbiting anyways, and uh, get, gaining altitude. Uh, and uh, we shall commence the attack once they get to about six and a half thousand feet. Uh, there was a force engagement by Wildcats, so I, I was thinking that there would have been a cap, but it doesn't appear to be. Uh, I think we are uh, in good enough position to launch the attack. So let us go and watch it. Um, I've also got both Task Force Pacific and Solomon Racing here uh, to attack the battleship uh, because, uh, yeah, we would really like to sink that as well. Sinking uh, the light carriers is very nice, but a nice surface engagement is. Uh, um, Add some spice, <laughs> uh, so to say. I'm not sure whether 9 SBDs will be able to uh, do enough damage uh, to this light carrier, but we will see. Uh, another plus is that with the light carriers, uh, sorry, with the light cruisers, um, and the first section is starting its dive, we shall start our dive shortly. Yeah, here we come. All three segments are diving now. Uh, one has been hit. It's damaged severely. Uh, anyway, I was saying that... Yeah. Uh, nice hit. Two down. And uh, we got nice, some nice other hits. Uh, we will see. So we lost two Dauntlesses and a Wildcat. And here is a cap that I was talking about. Well, we've got plenty of uh, Wildcats in the area. So we will see what they will give us. The carrier is burning, but it's um, 
not as much as I would have liked it. Uh, what I was going to say before all this happened was that the oh no, it's starting nice. Uh, the light cruisers uh, have only low caliber AAA, so uh, so they are less dangerous than the other ones. Uh, there is a plenty of uh, wildcats in the area. We will see whether they will be able to deal with the enemy fighters. Uh, unfortunately, the AI is a bit of a thick as two short planks, as they say. You can see the swarm here, uh, but for yeah, a reason. Uh, I, I, the AI, uh, sorry, the, the, the air to air combat he feels in this game as if it was just sort of slapped on a bit uh, without too much of uh, forethought or an afterthought. Um, well, something else goes down. Um, so uh, you get these things where uh, all the whole swarm starts targeting a single aircraft and ignores everything else that's there. You can see it here. Like there is well, 10 wildcats chasing a single zero. If I change it a bit, we will see whether it makes much difference or not. But uh, yeah, as you say, it, as I say, it's uh, not massively efficient. The carrier is still burning, uh, which is a good thing. We've got more planes coming in, um, SBDs and everything. We still have a major furball here. Because this looks like a uh, zero might get one power. Oh, yeah, well. Zero style one of our uh, wildcats, unfortunately. But we've got our engines and that in the distance here, uh, it's a zero as well. Let's watch one of the zeros now. Something shooting that, unfortunately, it was a wildcat. Well, now this is a zero which is going down. We'll be down to another one. There's lots of splashes. Quite a bit of furball. Turning back, and uh, this one escaped very luckily. Maybe. He's still in his tail. Not that well. And another zero going down. We are winning the fight. It's uh, We've lost about six or eight planes, I think, but we are slowly. But surely winning the fight and another zero down. I believe this is the last zero they have, and it's not anymore. Uh, everything is down, so we are going to. Um, I don't know. I don't think this is going to sink, so I'm going to retreat. They lost all the aircrafts, heavy and moderate uh, damage, that's okay. I think we lost two SPDs and six. Uh, overall, I would say it's probably okay. Dauntless is RTB, Wildcats, RTB. Uh, some Mitchell's coming in, and some more Dauntlesses. And also, uh, Avengers are coming in. As I said, Task Force Solomons is racing here because we spotted another uh, battleship um, Task Force here and Task Force Pacific is racing towards this one. So we will see. I even turned back Hornet so that she can launch aircraft if and as needed. We found the Japanese Task Force once again. It seems to be dead band on beaching itself. Uh, which is fine by me. Uh, I've got some uh, SBDs in the area and also Mitchell's are uh, they even called from the sub hunting duty. Uh, what I'm going to do is Mitchell's are going to uh, bomb the uh, battleship, uh, hoping to engage, do as much damage as they possibly can. I will have 
four sections of the SBDs attacking the light carrier to start with, which is one, two, three, four, leaving three sections, one, two, three, another four sections uh, in reserve. And we will see what is the damage caused by those uh, first three section, four sections. Um, and uh, based on that, we shall or shan't attack. So Mitchells will also wait so that we coordinate a bit. Um, they're going to go through a lot of low lots of low caliber AAA, uh, which is not great, but uh, yeah. With me, that's what you signed for, boys. Unfortunately for you. Okay, let's start circling here. Uh, these guys are almost at the altitude, they, these guys are at the altitude, and so are these ones, so let's, uh, when these guys will turn, uh, we will attack, well, let's go. Uh, they are carrying two, uh, I think each has a, a, a 2,000 pound armor piercing, uh, so it's about the same really as we get with the SBDs, except the SBDs are clearly attacking from the top, while these guys are attacking from the side, so uh, they are way more exposed, but when these guys hit, they should cause more flooding than when SBDs hit. Okay, lost one. Running the gauntlet, which is not easy, but uh, lost two, three. So we lost half of our uh, planes, and we lost oh, more than half. We lost. Them. In meanwhile, our SBDs are attacking. Uh, Okay, I would say the carrier is done for. Unfortunately, we lost our metros, which means we lost the uh, effective uh, 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 anti submarine force in there, but uh, the carrier is done. This carrier looks extremely rough. I'm pretty sure she's gonna sink, she's critical, critical, and indeed she is sinking. Uh, what I've done now is all the remaining SPDs are going to attack the battleship. They are already closing in. I'm sorry about the Mitchells. Uh, as I say, the AAA, uh, low caliber AAA, is actually more dangerous uh, than the um, high caliber one. The high caliber ones were, if I understand it correctly, actually used more to create sort of like a uh, barrage. That was a nice uh, magazine explosion. Um, and basically stop at a certain altitude or a certain distance uh, the planes coming through or at least damage them significantly while it was mostly the low caliber uh, that shot something down anyways we will see how it goes we signed the carrier if we do significant damage to the battleship i'm okay with that we still haven't encountered Yamato or anything uh, like that. I... And this... <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Uh, this... Uh... I know that Germans have tried to do a land battleships. <laughs> but I'm not sure that the uh, Japanese have tried to do... I wasn't aware that the Japanese have tried to do land destroyers. Um, yeah, this the other one was is probably going to end up the same. What I should have done is I should have left my Mitchells as they were and then had them destroy these stupid destroyers because, to be honest, a captain of a destroyer that, land, that, that manages to crawl on 
uh, land as far as the whole length of a destroyer doesn't deserve to live. They should be committing seppuku right now as we speak, uh, especially since his buddy in the other destroyer is trying to do exactly the same. And this light cruiser uh, likely again the same. Um, It. So we've lost our first um, SBV. There are some other are coming. You can see them here. Fortunately, I didn't. Uh, and three SBVs lost. Very nice hits. Very, very nice hits. Now I could understand her trying to crawl on uh, the shore, uh, given the damage she received. But, uh, nope. So that has beached itself. Nice. I cannot believe I'm seeing this. I honestly cannot believe. Out of curiosity, did they actually suffer some damage for this? None. <laughs> okay. This is ridiculous. This this is really ridiculous. Okay, uh, we've done quite well, I would say. All things considered, let's leave. Um, yeah. Okay, so we have found the Japanese task force that we were hunting that the uh, S-35 sunk a heavy cruiser off and here is a Miyoko and here is a Congo battleship. As you can see we've got lots in the area. Uh, particular uh, we've got quite a few SBDs from the uh, from uh, Hornet, we've got SBDs from uh, Enterprise, we've got everyone in their doggy, and of course we've got also some Cactus SBDs. And we've also got Task for Pacific, way too far to do anything efficiently, and we shall sit and watch, get out your popcorn, guys. It's going to be a bit of a hard, because we've got ships on both uh, port and starboard, uh, sides of the task force uh, so it's going to be a bit hard to keep them all in focus properly uh, but we will try so the first section is now in and we shall see we was a poor has been already two Three SBDs, but the Congo was very well hit for SBD loss. You can see how we are hitting them left, right, and center. I, oh, that was a very nice hit on the Congo. This Congo was definitely done for. The last three brave men attacking the Yoko and very last attack on Congo. And we lost another, that wasn't great. And we lost another plane, we lost altogether 3, 6 SBDs so far. Uh, Miyoko is dead in the water and looks very rough. Congo, I would not be surprised if she sunk. He looks extremely rough and it's also dead in the water. Uh, so we can be more or less certain that uh, uh, yeah, something is sinking and it's Congo that's sinking. 
Uh, I was just going to say that regardless of whether they will sink by this bombing or not, uh, Task Force Pacific would be able to catch with them and uh, uh, sink them. Uh, as she is going to be able to catch up with the Miyoko and sink it. So that will uh, that will mean that the uh, uh, Japanese Navy and this Miyoko is going down as I fully expected it to. Uh, so we will just catch up the rest of the convoy with Task Force Pacific and decimate it. Um, this leaves all of two heavy cruisers uh, undamaged for Japanese Navy and one uh, which is uh, in uh, unavailable as a U uh, next to its name, so it's probably in the dock. So basically, Japanese Navy has no heavy cruisers. We have seen it when we attacked the other uh, task force, uh, which was uh, just uh, light cruisers. Uh, so it's basically being decimated. Okay, we started engaging the remains of uh, the um, convoy. Uh, there is this thing here, which I suspect some of our, probably Brooklyn or someone will engage shortly. Uh, you can see something is here. Uh, I, I'd really like to sing the destroyers, uh, they are sort of the main target in the remainder, although there are no commands, command points for them. The command points we get, um, funnily enough, for the soft targets, the uh, merchant ships. <coughs> but, uh, whatever. We will almost certainly sink these uh, merchant ships the faster the better, but the problem is that if we sink into the merchant ships uh, first, uh, the destroyers will speed up as long as we are uh, aiming at, uh, which means this is the reason why I'm quite keen actually to retarget this. Let me go after Fubuki. Unfortunately, we've already blown up this pieces. Um, yeah, well, let me go up to the Fubuki as well here. Uh, this guy is done for. There are three destroyers here and two merchant ships. Uh, the merchant ships we will certainly catch and sink uh, with the destroyers. It's a bit trickier. We will see whether we will manage to hit any of them. Uh, but, uh, we are not far from Russell Island, so we will go and replenish the ammunition there. It's uh, not a biggie either way. In the meanwhile, we will keep hitting. Uh, see what we're here. We'll see how it goes. I split North Carolina because she is very slow. She is 28 knots compared to 15 at the Fubuki. Uh, so, yeah, oh, I must have hit something where we are, I wasn't watching. Um, so, if we get 28 uh, knots, that's uh, not even twice as fast as this. It takes a long time to get here. Okay, the Fubuki has just suffered from a big explosion of the heart. Fubuki is sinking, Salt Lake City, Dry has horror. And there is a Sasako. Uh, yeah, you can start firing as well. San Diego, Asasho, please, as well. Also, you fire star shells. With light cruisers, it's really the rate of fire that matters. And that's why they are so good at sinking destroyers. They really literally can put out lots of. Uh, shells in flight at the same time and uh, that tends to translate into a quick sink. Let me have a look at... We are also shooting at this Sasho, but that's only New Orleans I think. Uh, 
so I don't expect great things from that. What I want is... Wow, another... This was not entirely intended, uh, but it's going to sink that merchant, so uh, they are going to uh, avoid the plume of smoke that was worsening the visibility, I would say. <clears throat> Which is not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, this merchant is the last one, so I don't care too much about it, honestly. As I kept saying, it's the destroyers that, that I would like to sink. If we sink the destroyers, these guys are just sitting ducks. Uh, it doesn't surprise me that our uh, loose shots hit one of these guys as well. Uh, this merchant... Don't really care too much. I don't know whether... Uh, this uh, Hatsuharu, it definitely has quite a bit of a list. I don't know whether it's moving so slow because it's been hit or whether it's moving so slow. Yeah, if she's dead in the water, so I'm not worried about it. This is what we need to destroy now. San Diego. Uh, okay. Stop, stop. AP Hatsuharu. Although you don't, of course, have AP. All you have is HE. But you are going to send as many of those into this destroyer as you can. Sort of barely outrunning the shells now, but uh, not always. And I expect her to uh, get done for. Reasonably quickly, I think she's slowing down. You can see, I think those uh, many splashes. That was a very nice one. Uh, those many splashes are coming from our um, San Diego cruiser. She is done for. You should have run when you could have. And here we've got a nice sinking. While uh, Hatsuharu in the background is burning and Asasho in front is burning as well. We can say we have eliminated this task force now. Uh, as I said before, uh, this is uh, uh, the last engagement of Flip episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. I certainly did. It was a very uh, good fun. Um, and, uh, well, uh, I have to say, um, it's good fun in the sense of uh, um, shooting barrel and fish fun type thing. Uh, I'm really looking forward. I will finish this uh, 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 TV uh, campaign uh, say in a couple of weeks or so and then I will start on the com 2 uh, again. Uh, I've been told that it's been made even harder but in some ways it's been actually uh, balanced better I would say. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, it's going to be way more stressful, uh, but also way more rewarding. This is just... So, anyways, I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please consider subscribing, liking and uh, commenting. Um, all of that helps the channel quite a bit. Uh, if you did so, you already helped the channel, so thank you very much. Uh, and I will see you at the next video, whenever that is.